And now I want to introduce uh, Carla Brown, who is co-chair of the Diversity, uh, Equity, and Inclusion um, uh, Committee. And uh, one of the things, this has been a, a concern of a lot of members of our community, and it's, it's very easy to make statements in favor of these types of issues, but we now have a committee that is actually going to hold us accountable for what we believe in. So I just want to hear for a couple of minutes from Carla. Thanks, John. Um, so I think John just gave me a great opening. Um, and this has been something that is a priority for the board. Um, and I think that that has been demonstrated through a couple of our accomplishments. One has been was the revision of the board election process that was um, we specifically were really pushing to be more inclusive um, and to ensure that the full community um, felt that they could re be represented and be presented. Um, it was also a priority for us to look at the bylaws and to make sure that the language was more inclusive. Um, again, so all the members of our community felt represented in, in the language and, and what we were um, stating that we were doing. I think the, the biggest, one of the biggest accomplishments that we have right now is really defining what the board's role is at, versus the affiliates. And what I mean by that is that the board um, is really looking to um, identify the DEI priorities, the diversity and equity inclusion priorities, and monitor, uh, monitor specific milestones um, towards those. But we also recognize that this work cannot be done in isolation, that we, that we are an affiliate um, organization um, and the affiliates have an extremely important role to play. Um, so um, without a partnership, uh, an intimate relationship between the board and our affiliates, we won't make um, we won't make uh, real strides on this. So we are looking now at um, how that relationship will will uh, manifest itself. So for 2023, 2024, over the next year, we're going to continue to look at the bylaws and uh, internally look at some of our policies to make sure that they are inclusive. Uh, we are looking at the website. We would like to create a space on the website where we can advertise the DEI activities that our affiliate groups are involved in. Um, if there are articles that somebody has published or are, are publishing to be able to create a space where they can actually put it so that the larger community can have access. Um, we also want to make sure that if there are events, specific <laughs> events, that those types of things can also be presented. Um, and so that the larger community, you know, can play off of one another and 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 learn from one another, and that there's a space specifically dedicated to that. Um, we would also like to be able to um, um, create a toolkit um, so that you know, in in our case, inclusivity is an interesting one. So I'm using this as an example, but we have different age groups. So there may be certain groups that are doing things that are family oriented to give them a chance to 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 know what other organizations, other places are doing to ensure that people that with young kids um, have ideas that they um, that they can um, you know do in their groups to make sure that that part of the community is also included. Um, another, the other large thing that we want, we are interested in doing is identifying and working with 10, at least 10 um, affiliate groups who would be interested in helping us to do data collection. As you all know, Peace Corps specifically um, at its at the beginning did not collect diversity related data. Um, if we want to move on, um, and are on the on the issue of diversity, equity, inclusion, we need to have an idea of where we are, what our starting point is. So our hope is to identify 10 um, affiliate groups um, who would like to work with us to uh, determine some key indi indicators and begin to monitor, uh, to help the board to be able to, to, to really have something to base our conversations on DEI around. And finally, um, one of our big strategies is to invite the larger community to be part of the DEI committee. Um, we believe that there's strength in numbers. We believe that among our community, we have some really strong um, members who, who are committed to DEI work, and we would like them to be part of the shaping of what um, NPCA um, does around this. So this is an open invitation. If you are interested in becoming part of the DEI committee, you can write to directly to me, you can write to Mike, Mark, uh, Mike Roman, who is my uh, co-chair, um, so that we can 
really more minds, you know, put our minds together to to create something that is well representative of, of NPCA uh, and, you know, can be a model outside of Peace Corps, There's to, outside of our own community. Um, to me, this is my own personal thing. Where What better place than an organization who is committed to um, learning and being part of other cultures to really spearhead some interesting DEI work? Um, and then those types of things would be part of a toolkit um, work that we would do so that, you know, uh, all the members of the affiliate groups would have access to. Thank you for your time.